Guys, Rich from Dynaport, getting a lot of calls, a lot of confusion on fuel mapping. Um, a guy the other day called me, and his buddy was going to charge him five or six hundred bucks to remap an 850 Skidoo. So I had to explain to him that that would be worthless. Uh, you can go to your dealer and get, add one or two degrees of timing, um, which on a stock engine, depending on how you ride, you can. On a mod engine, you cannot because you won't have enough fuel. So let's go back to basics. In the old days, we had a carburetor. We adjusted our low speed by the uh, size of the pilot jet. We adjusted our eighth throttle by the cutaway on the slide. We adjusted the mid-range by the height of the needle. And then we adjusted the main jet by a bigger or smaller main jet. Um, Thunder Products has a nice thing I use on my XP race sled. I can adjust five main jet sizes just by turning a screw real quick. Which brings me to how neat the new electronic stuff is. Number one, your Polaris or your Skidoo is very close from the factory. Your Arctic Cat is usually pig rich. Um, so if you own a Cat a few ways around it, you can add a timing key rather than buying a programmer. You can add a pipe and a Y pipe and clean it up. Um, if you own a Skidoo or a um, Polaris, their programs are pretty much spot on. The controversy is mid-range. A lot of guys who don't know how to run a dyno and lug up through will take and add a ton of fuel there. It's going to kill your throttle response and your fuel mileage out on the trail. The engineers are very close. Uh, if you cruise, if you're a Canadian guy or a, an older guy that cruises at six grand or 6,200 for two or three miles, you could run into a uh, pre-ignition deal where you could feather the edge of your piston and, and get a lean burn down. If you're running wide open up at full throttle, the detonation sensor would go off if your octane was wrong or it was a real long pull. So for you guys um, who really wanted to fine tune your stock sled a little, you could buy a PC5, you could go in there and play with adding one or two at different throttle positions, go out on the trail and see if it feels any better. Same as you would have with an old sled, but in that case, we didn't have all this to get us going the wrong way. We just had five clips on the needle, so we moved it and we knew. That's why for most of you guys, something like this, the electronic jet kit from Doback or a boondocker, you just adjust your low speed, you add or subtract fuel, you do the same in the mid-range, you do wide open. Guys, that's all you need. Um, the dyno operators cannot go in there and give you the proper program unless they spend hours their engineering because to map all these positions, the factory's already done all this for you. So pretty much most guys who get a PC5 or any of these, you're going to go in, either add or take a little fuel away on the top end. Um, one last thing. All these guys with their false horsepower numbers, you know, a 12 horse port job on a 850 Skidoo when they're giving you two or three, ask them how much fuel you need to add and uh, they'll tell you another story. So guys, hope this helps. Uh, you don't need to go to a dyno to do some flight map adjusting. Thanks.